name is Kirsty Takimoto. I am part of the Peace 2 program at Honolulu Community College. I will be assessing UV rays through sunscreens and sunblocks. My project involves a UV sensor that will be able to read UVA and UVB levels, including UV index levels from the sun. Sunscreen and sunblock is used to protect us from harmful ultraviolet exposure, but a variety of chemicals are used for that purpose, which include organic and inorganic compounds. UV exposure is quantified by using the UV index scale as shown on the right. Zero meaning the lowest uh, risk you have to sun exposure and 12 being the extreme risk you have to the sun's rays. I will be testing how effective an inorganic sunscreen is compared to an organic sunscreen and blocking out UV rays. The five sunscreens and sunblocks I will be using are Banana Boat, Copper Tone, Sun Bum, Juice Beauty, and Raw Elements. Three of them, Banana Boat, Copper Tone, and Sun Bum are organic sunscreens, and Juice Beauty and Raw Elements are inorganic sunscreens. They all have an SPF of 30. As you see on the right, I have my materials, which is a red board, a quick microcontroller connected with a quick cable to my UV sensor breakout. My testing procedure, I will be squeezing one drop of sunscreen or sunblock on a sheet of saran wrap and spread it evenly to cover the sensor. After that, I allow my sunscreen or sunblock to lay out for a minute. To test my sensor's functioning ability, I will be laying it on the grass, looking at that data and comparing it when it's in the sun and looking at that data. To gather data um, for my testing of sunscreens, I'll be placing my UV sensor on a towel, then under a saran wrap, then under the area with the sunscreen for at least three minutes. My variables would be uh, direct sunlight and scattered clouds. Here's my test one. Um, I have direct sunlight, no clouds, and I'm testing against a white towel. From the beginning of my uh, testing time, the sensor was on the towel, the white towel. As I'm sloping down, I have put the sensor under the saran wrap. And as you can see, copper tone has been proven to cover uh, most of the UV rays during my testing, as shown when it's under the sunscreen. After that, as it's sloping back up, I've put the sensor under the sun saran wrap, then back on the towel. My second test is done on a day with scattered clouds, but there is sun and against a white towel. As you can see, same format. I put the sensor on the towel first while it's sloping down. It's under the saran wrap. Then again, copper tone uh, sunscreen has proven to be more effective in blocking out the UV rays. In conclusion, uh, my uh, winner was a copper tone clear brand clear sunscreen. Um, it has been proven to block out most of the UV rays rather than other than the other sunscreens. Copper Tone is an organic sunscreen that can be bought at your local convenience stores. Remember to always put on sunscreen whenever the sun's out. Uh, future work that I would like to uh, work on would be uh, proper calibration of my UV sensor using an accurate radiometer in a lab environment. Um, I'd also like to collect data in a different environment, such as in the mountains or closer to the beach. Another future work I had in mind was to compare UVA data instead of UVB, to compare UVA data, UVA and UVB data than what I have done in this project, which is comparing UV index data. Here are my references. Um, thank you for your support to my advisor, Mevin, and peer mentors, Mia Fong, Leah Tanaka, Anthony Lopez, as well as Catherine Bronston and Dr. Shidong Khan. Thank you.